Hey yo, Charles here. In this video, we'll be animating text and forming a typing effect using pure HTML and CSS. This is a cool animation that you can use on a landing page of a website. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notification so that you don't miss a cool video like this one. And let's get started. So I'll open my code editor and I have already created a HTML file which is empty. I'll generate a HTML template right here. Control space HTML sample and there we go. So the only thing that I'll be adding maybe a title typist and at our body I'll add a h2 with a typist text and three dots that way and as you can see our sample have already connected uh, a main.css file so the only thing that we'll do is to create that file I'll come here add a new file and main dot css next i will open my index dot html file with a live server open with live server and uh, yeah yeah it is i'll cross the previous one and place them side by side so that you can see the changes that we are making open the main.css file and the first thing i want to do is to center the text and style the background so i'll target the body and i want a dark background background okay i'll say maybe gray and then I'll make it a little bit dark. Uh, that one will work. We change the color of the text so that it's visible enough to a hash F A F A F A. This is a uh, dark white. Now let's center the text. So I'll target the H2. Position absolute. Okay, top fifty percent. Left fifty percent. Transform. Translate negative fifty per cent, negative fifty per cent. So now our text is at the center. Let's change the size of this uh, text. So font size, I'll give it three rem. And font weight, I'll give it 400. And I want to change the font family. So, how you can do this is to go to Google Fonts. And the font that I want to use is Roboto Mono. So, search for Roboto Mono. This font is the one that I want okay I'll click the font go to okay regular font I have added it to my fonts and you can see this icon at the top here view your selected families so review Roboto Mono I want to embed and you can see you can embed either in a HTML file or a CSS file. I want to do this in a CSS file. 
and copy the URL that is between the style tags. That way, go to our CSS file at the very top. I'll create some space and paste that URL right there. Now, how to use this Roboto Mono font is to use a font family property and font and you add Roboto Mono in quotes and a mono space in case uh, Roboto Mono is not available. So I'll copy that and paste it right there. Check our text and you can see that it have transformed. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's start animating this text. At the bottom here, I'll create at keyframes and I'll call this one typing. From and then to. So the first thing that we want to know is the length of this uh, text and you can do this using the characters so you can count how many characters that you have as you can see it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine characters that is one way that you can do but counting the characters can become tedious if you have a long font so the thing that you can do is to use your console. You can go to inspect, go to console, and right here, you can write the string that you have. So quotes, typist, dot, dot, dot. And then at the top, at the end here, you add a dot length. Okay, a dot length uh, method. So this will give you the length of your text. And you can see here it's nine. If I enter, it will return nine. So if you have a long text, you can use this uh, this uh, this path to determine the length of the font. Okay, so we now know that we have nine characters in our font so right here i'll set the width to be nine character okay the length of our font you can see that it haven't changed a thing and then here from i can now set a width of zero character and then two i can set a width of nine character so this is from the beginning to the end okay so let's now use this animation here animation We are using typing this one typing we want it to go for five seconds and you can see it have a kind of started animating and we will use steps okay so steps in brackets nine steps for each character Okay, there are some things that we need to fix and at the bottom here I will add an overflow of hidden so you can see it have a uh, kind of started working and um, I'll add a white space of no wrap and this is now actually working right can see cool so we can uh, make this to repeat like two times 
there we go so you can make it infinite or you can state the number of times that you want it to, re to, to repeat so there's one thing that we are lacking and it's a cursor a blinking cursor so how we can create that is to add a border okay so we'll add a border and this will be border right we set it to four pixels solid hash f a f a f a so you can see that uh, now there is a cursor cool so now let's make this cursor to blink after it have stopped uh, typing so what we can do is to add another at keyframes at keyframes and we'll call this one blink from and two so we set the border here border right okay to be four pixels solid and i want this one to have an opacity of zero so i will use rgba in brackets 255 255 255 and then an opacity of zero okay so when it is uh it have ended typing it will start from opacity of zero and then to an opacity of one it's a simple start so here border right we set to four pixels solid uh, rgba okay we can just set it to rgb and uh, 255 255 255 so this is white but you can make it a little bit dark okay so kind of grayish i guess that way so let's now use this animation so we can use multiple animations with a comma at the top here we will add a comma we use blink and we want this to go for maybe after every one second or two seconds i'll copy a one my one doesn't work so i want to use a one second is is in out okay that's the one i want and this will start after uh after so our typing is going for five seconds so we can uh, make the blinking to start after six seconds okay so after six seconds the cursor will start blinking and we want this one to be infinite so even after it's have completed it will continue and continue and continue cool so let's see what what is happening here typist it's done and it's not working what have we done wrong so i have named the animation um, incorrectly 
this is supposed to be blink not blink blink okay let's see if it works the first round the second round so i have realized a weird behavior and our typing is our blinking is starting before the typing ends and that is because we are doing the typing animation twice so to fix this you can either remove uh, these two and make it to type once or you can double the the time here so you can make this about 11 because this will now go for 10 seconds so i'll just remove this one and it will go for just one time there we go when it's done start blinking and we are done now you can use this on a cool landing page i'll share the source code at the description section below in case you need it but these are a few lines so i guess you can just type just very few lines if you're still thinking of subscribing please make sure you do so so that you don't miss the next video thank you